yeah hello all welcome back so now in this session we will go through a new concept which is nothing but business processes okay okay so actually in the previous session we have gone through the output determination uh, we left it in between and we will continue in the remaining classes actually i would like to complete the business processes also simultaneously as most of the people who are asking about the business processes okay so now okay let us go through the business processes concept uh, sure so first of all i just would like to tell you what exactly the business process is okay business processes okay okay so here business process is nothing but the process which the business follows in their day to day activities that's what is called as business process and we have many business processes okay okay so mostly we will deal with o2c process o2c means order to cash yes first one is o2c process and then standard process then third party process and here the third party process is of two types one is with shipping notification and the second one is without shipping notification okay and the fourth okay. one is ipo process ipo means individual purchase order purchasing order okay in the okay. same way sto process sto means stock transfer order okay okay and inter company sto then make to order hmm. and inter company sales sales and billing so these are all the processes so now okay. what we will do is we will go through one by one all these processes and we are planning to complete all these processes within 15 days okay so now let us okay. go through the first one here which is nothing but order to cash it's nothing but a what is this o to c process so okay. let me draw a simple diagram then i can illustrate better o to c process see let us take a customer okay so here it is the customer and if customer place an order this is what is the sales order okay then what will happen if customer place an order to the company then the stock it will sent to the mrp right okay the transfer of requirements so sales order requirements will be sent to mrp okay then what will do mrp will be 
run by the representatives and that what is the transaction to run the mrp md 01 in the same way md 02 okay then what will happen system will check the stock of the finished goods system check the stock of the finished goods so now if the stock of the finished goods is available then what will happen if the stock is available so let us take two scenarios here one is stock is available and the second one is if the stock is not available so if the stock of the material is available then what will happen delivery will happen the goods will be delivered to the customer right okay. in the same way after delivering the goods to the customer what will happen invoice also will sent to the customer okay. and the customer will do the payment okay. so here after delivery invoice will send then the customer will do the payment payment so this is what will happen if the stock of the finished goods is available okay so now let us consider if the stock of the finished goods are not available so let us take the next scenario here this one okay so previously if the stock of the material is available this is what will happen as customer place an order then the sales order requirements will be transferred to mrp it's nothing but material requirements and planning then the representatives will run the mrp and after okay. running the mrp they will come to know if the stock of the material is available or not okay, okay? so if the stock of the material is available okay. then what will happen okay. the material will get delivered delivery to the customer delivery not invoice yes the delivery will happen in the same way invoice also will send to the customer and the customer will do the payment mm. okay so this is what is the first scenario mm. so now let us consider if the stock of the material is not available mm. okay so now okay let me draw a diagram for that so here if stock not available mm. what is this stock of finished goods mm. okay okay so if the stock is not available then what will happen system will check the stock of the raw materials okay. if the finished goods stock is not available then the system will check the stock of the raw materials okay and if the raw material stock is available okay. then what will happen yeah tell me production will start okay
After production, quality check will happen for the finished reports. Mm. So after the quality pass means after the quality check completes, then the material will get delivered to customer. Customer. Mm. In the same way. invoice also will get sent to the customer okay. then the customer will do the payment okay so this is what will happen okay. if the stock of the raw material is available okay. and let us consider if the stock of the raw material is also not available okay, okay? so now Okay. Let us let us consider if the stock of the raw materials is also not available. Okay. So here, stock of raw material is not available. Okay. So then, what will happen? Not so here, not available. Purchase requisition will get generated, okay. okay, and which will be turned into purchase okay. order, okay. and it will be sent to the vendor. Okay. Then vendor will deliver the goods to whom? Company, customer, company here. Company. So okay. here the vendor is delivering raw materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, see this one. Vendor okay. is delivering the raw okay. material. So the okay. raw material will be sent to the company. Then what will happen? Okay. The company will start. Yeah, tell me. Uh, production. Production. Yes. Mm -hmm. So after completion of the production. The fi very, very the finished uh, goods will be go to the quality check. check. Mm. Then delivery. Yes, delivery will happen to the customer. In the mm. same way, invoice also will sent to the customer. Then the customer will do the payment. Mm. Okay. Okay. So this is what is the. Entire flow of adder to cash. So let me repeat it once. So if customer place an order, then the sales order requirements will be sent to the MRP. And after that, MRP will be run by the representatives. And here they will come to know if the stock of the finished goods are. Available or not? Okay. So, if the stock of the finished goods are available, okay. then the delivery will happen in the same way. Okay. Invoice also will send to the customer. Then the customer will do the payment. Okay. So, if the finished goods are not available, then the system will check the stock of the raw materials. Okay. So, if the stock of the raw material is available, then mm. the production will get start, mm. and after Quality production, check. the goods will come out, right? Quality check. Yes, the mm. goods will come out. For which the quality check will happen, mm. and then delivery. Yes, the goods will be delivered to the customer. Then again, the same thing. Invoice will be sent to the customer, and the sent uh, and the customer will do the payment. Mm. So if the raw materials are not available, mm. then what will happen? The company will create the purchase requisition, mm. and it will be it will become the purchase order. Mm. Then this purchase order will be sent to the vendor, and the vendor will mm. deliver the goods to the company, and the company will start producing the final product. It's nothing but the finished good. Then quality check will happen. After that, the delivery will happen to the customer. 
in the same way invoice also will sent to the customer mm. then the customer will do the payment okay so this is what is entirely the flow of order to cash mm. okay okay so we will go through the entire flow in the i i would like to show you this entire flow in the system mm -hmm. but here in order to configure the entire flow mm -hmm. we need five module consultants okay because it is integrated with five modules what mm -hmm. are them sd yes fi uh, yeah one minute uh, let me Yes, can you please uh, mention the five modules? ESD, FI. Yes. CO. ESD. FI. Okay. CO. FI and CO, CO. okay. Uh, Then? MM. 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 And uh, PP. Yes, production planning. Production planning. Only. QM. That's all I think. QM. Okay. Okay. Mm. So here, the integration between these, the integration among these five modules, is needed to configure the entire O2C process. Okay. Okay. So are you clear with it? Yeah, okay. Okay. Then thank you. And uh, in the next session, I will let you know the standard process. Okay. Okay. So hope you are clear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. okay.